Hey guys, this is a little project I was doing. Basically, what it is, it's as you can see there, it's uh, a negative 3 volts, 5 volts, negative 12 volts, and 12 volts. But what I've done is got these connectors, and this was an old modem, uh, and I've taken all the bits out of that, and then I've put two LEDs on there switch on the side and took this connector off a motherboard that was a dead motherboard and I've wired all those wires in or what you could do is get one of these extension cables uh, basically you can get one of these extension cables like that with the wires already on it and this is a 20 pin to 24 pin but you can always find 24 pin to 24 pin as well with these connectors on it but I've taken it off the motherboard so I didn't want to spend any money on anything on this uh, I was using all old parts let me just get to the top camera and show you Now what I did is put two LED lights in there. I think I need to open this up again because I think I've wired one of the LEDs uh, wrong. So basically what it is, it's got like four screws there. Let me just get that focused in so you can have a little. Okay. So I've just cut that bit in there and glued that to the end edges of that. So that's quite hot, solid now. And then you can just plug in any power supply, 24 pin power supply in there. And you've got the switch on the side, you switch it on. Uh, I think what I've done is I think I've connected them both together. Uh, I'm just I probably might have to just take it off. Uh, one of them and put it on the standby power and that way at least we can see the LED guys on there I'll put a resistor in there for a load so some power supplies need a load and then I just connected these connect made holes and just connected those in in there I'll just show you at the moment you can see it's on let me just get a multimeter and show you that you can just plug anything in there and get the voltage. Let me get this other camera on the multimeter so that you can see what is actually going on. Should we do it that way? Hang on. Voltage DC. let's put that under there right there you go so what we'll do is i'm going to plug one into the actually we can't do that with those the negative and then i'm going to go now onto the three volts here you can see 3.4 watts you go into the five volts got 5.2 watts there on that one that's negative 12 or have I labeled that wrong right okay it's 11.11 11 DC okay or oh, is that the negative one yeah that's the negative one so I've basically got them the wrong way around and so that's 12 there and this is the positive 12 and that's the negative 12 so let me just see what do I get this way yeah so with both of them I'm getting like 23 volts negative and if I plug it the other around uh, I should be getting positive yeah 23 about well, 23 volts there so combined I got 23 volts so if I use the black probe on that and the red probe on that I will get uh 24 volts well 23 volts exactly and if i use the end one uh, i should be getting 12 watts on that one 
Oh, it's a bit low on that one. There we go. And that one should be... Yeah, that's the 12 watts one. Okay, so why did I get a negative? Okay, never mind. So that is about 11, that one. Yeah, 11 minus 11. Then we've got 5 on that one. And 3.4 on that one. So basically you can see that it's a handy little thing. It's not that big either. And even if you want to check a power supply, just shove that in there and just push the on button. So all you need is these connectors, which can be purchased on eBay. And it's not that big either, so you know. Let me just get some of the, like a ruler or something that we can see how big that is. So basically this is about five inches, isn't it? Five inches this way, about three and a half inches that way. And it's about one and a half, one and a half inch that way. So it's not a big item. So it's quite handy to have because if you need like a, got power supply lying about and you just want to plug it in and get the uh, power, you can just use that little device. I thought I'd just share that with you. So hope just to do a little short video, see if that helps anyone. Thanks for watching.